be having a munch. I'm just having a bite to eat on a crunchy carrot. This carrot's quite hard. It's just as well I've got strong biting teeth. Well, children have 20 teeth. They're called milk teeth. And they fall out and get replaced by adult teeth. Adults have about 32 teeth. So in your lifetime, you'll have 52 teeth. I wonder how many teeth some animals have. How about animals like sharks? Now, sharks need really strong biting teeth. How many teeth do sharks have? Lots, lots and lots. 60. 42. I think about 54, 55. About 50 or, the, or as much as we do. Well, I think they have more than 50 because we're 40 something. 50? 100? 60? Mm, about 28? 29? 50? 18? Heaps because their teeth always grow again. 200? No, I mean, I'm 120. They probably start off with about 50 teeth and then they'll regrow when they've been fallen out. 3,000? Because they're so small. Hmm, how many teeth does a shark have? Well, let's see. It needs strong, sharp cutting teeth to tear and bite at its food. So maybe it needs about 20 or 30 teeth, the same number as we have. Or. Or maybe it needs more teeth. Maybe 50 sharp cutting teeth. You know, I'm only guessing. I haven't got a clue, really. And if I'm going to do this scientifically, then maybe I need to find a great big shark with a huge toothy grin. I'm at the aquarium at the Marine Study Centre in Dunedin, and I've found a shark. It's not a very big shark. In fact, it's just a baby. This is a carpet shark. It's just like a big grown-up carpet shark in miniature. All we need to do is see if we can get it to smile so we can see those pearly teeth. So, come on. Give us a smile. Come on, you can do it. Hmm. Say cheese. This isn't working. And if we did get it to smile, we probably wouldn't see those teeth anyway. They'd be so small. What I need is a big shark with big teeth, so they're easy to count. Well, I haven't found any big sharks yet, and what I really need is a huge one. But there don't seem to be too many sharks in here. <gasps> ah, sha, sha. Hi, Susie. Hello, Richard. Oh. Oh, I was just admiring your shark's teeth here. Ah, oh, shark's teeth are pretty amazing things. Oh, they are. Hey, you're just the person I need. Richard is the educator at the Marine Studies Centre. Richard, can you tell us about shark's teeth? Oh, I think we can do better than that. I think we can show you some close up. Uh, not too close. Those teeth look like they've got plenty of bite. So these teeth are from the blue shark, which is a, a reasonable sized shark we get off the Otago coast here. And these would be teeth from an adult shark? That's right. And some of them are larger and some of them are smaller. And it just depends on which part of the mouth they come from. But you can see they're very, very sharp and they have that serrated edge to them. Well, here's a good example of that, look. It looks like a steak knife. That's right. Well, it works the same way. It's designed for ripping great chunks out of the, the fish. Ah, so they'd eat fish? Yeah, fish and squid. Oh, yep. OK. Fish about yay size? Oh, I'd say so, yeah. Oh, OK. And of course, fish and squid are pretty darn slippery items, so the sharper your teeth and the better they dig in, the faster the better, really. <laughs> Definitely. So they're very similar to the, the things you get on, on a shark's skin, actually. If you feel shark's skin, it's very smooth in one direction, but quite rough the other way. Smooth that way and... Oh, yeah, it's like sandpaper. Wow. And what are these things called? They're called denticles, and they grow all over the shark's skin. And they're very, very similar to the teeth that we've just been looking at. Oh, OK. So I guess you wouldn't want to rub a shark up the wrong way. Well, we've seen what shark's teeth look like. How many teeth does a shark have? 
Have you got any guesses? Oh, I'd say 30 or 40 maybe. Not even close. Oh. Hmm. This is the jaw of a Marco shark. One of the fastest fish in the ocean and a really good hunter. Isn't it, Richard? Sure is. Look at the size of some of these teeth. Oh, and they're so sharp. They sure are. These guys go around picking off large fish and probably the odd small seal as well. So it would use these sharp teeth to really chomp on and rip that flesh. Yep, it could be a chomp out great big chunks of flesh, no problems at all. Mm. What happens if a fish didn't, or a shark like this didn't have any teeth? How long would it survive? It wouldn't survive at all. Wouldn't it? No. Well, what happens when a shark loses teeth then? Well, it's quite neat because they, if they lose, say, this tooth, it's just replaced by this next one. And if that one got lost, the next one back would move in and so on back. And they have about five or six or even seven rows of teeth going right back into the mouth. Wow. How long does it take for a tooth to be replaced? About one day, just for the next one to lift up and point out and be ready to go. Well, let's see. This Marco shark would all have a few dozen at any one time. Sure would. Some sharks will have hundreds of teeth in its mouth at any one time. That's incredible. It would need a really big mouth. <laughs> yeah. Sure would. So what do we know? Sharks have rows and rows of teeth. They can have hundreds of teeth at any one time. And you can compare that with children who have 20 and adults who have 32. And they keep on growing their teeth throughout their lifetime. So how many teeth would a shark have in its lifetime? Well, it would be between 20 and 30,000 teeth. 20 and 30,000 teeth? I'd hate to be the tooth fairy for a shark. Sharks have 20 to 30,000 teeth in a lifetime, and sometimes hundreds in their mouth at one time. When they lose a tooth, there's always another one that can fill the gap and complete that toothy shark smile. Mm. Yum. Hey, imagine having 20,000 teeth fall out before you're 10. Or imagine having rows and rows of teeth all sitting here in your gum, ready to move forward as your old teeth fall out. Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? But it's very important that those sharks have all those spare teeth. They need lots of spares, thousands of spare teeth, because they need those teeth to survive. They need strong, sharp teeth for biting that prey and eating them. Now, those sharks are ancient, well, their ancestors were around before dinosaurs. They've adapted really well for survival. Well, maybe you could head along to a museum or an aquarium and check out some sharks. Have a good look at those teeth. Check them out. Just don't get too close. Or head along to your library. They may have a book on sharks. Hey, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Broadcasting fee.